So the other day I received a donation from a Mr. Clive McCabe and there was an interesting note with this donation saying please, please, please bring out Commander Linux 2.0 Well Clive, your wish shall be granted and I shall begin on that work right now so maybe let me first introduce myself hello i'm roy so what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to create a step-by-step -step video tutorial where i will document all aspects of creating commander linux 2.0 and if you pay good attention then you will actually be able to create your own Debian Remix after this. And if you don't want to do that, then at least you will have a good understanding of the process of what goes on behind the scene. So there's going to be around 18 episodes. This might change a bit. We'll see. Starting with installing and preparing the development machine because we are, after all, going to um, base Commander Linux 2.0 on Debian 12. So we need to have Debian 12 as the base. Currently, I have Commander Linux 1.0 with Debian 11 as the base. So that's going to be a virtual machine. Okay. Number two, we're going to choose and implement the icon set. We're going to implement background images and user avatars we're going to configure the theme the look and feel of the layout then we are going to be installing and configuring a gitlab server and yeah that is completely free then we will be fixing and recompiling gdk3 because there's a big flaw in GDK3, and I really thought it would be fixed by now, because it was the same when I did Commander Linux 1 by 0, but it's not fixed. We'll have to fix that. I will show you that later. Then we will be tweaking the start menu. You know, this is uh, the whisker menu from XFCE4, but it needs to be edited quite a bit. And then we'll be tweaking the taskbar applets and as you can see down here it's these guys here by default they are too close to or they have too much spacing actually so um we will be looking into fixing that okay next we will be creating the notepad and the calculator then we'll be adding the shortcut to system monitor into the logout dialog which is this one right here so i'll show you how to do that then we will activate god mode which means that you don't have to type your password again and again and again i think that you have already logged into your computer when you're using it and you you put your password there you don't need to put it again and again and again. That's just a waste of time. So we're going to do it like that. We're going to configure the scale files. We're going to configure RAM, page file usage. We are going to create special entries in the file manager's context menu, which will bring even more God mode. Then we'll be choosing the software, what software to include. We'll be setting the name of the operating system in the system file so that it will report as commander, not as a Debian. And finally, we'll create configuration files for the live build ISO generation. Can we see all of this? Maybe I should go up here for a while. All right. So if everything goes well, then this 
Debian 12 XFCE for desktop will be transformed into this. Commander Linux 2.0. Boo la la. All right. All right. Now, there are some additional features I also want to make, but I don't know if I will manage to do that for this, for the first version. 2.0. But those features are a boot animation. There should be a proper boot animation when Commander Linux boots up. Nice and professional. It's like our good old Windows 7. Then I want to have system sounds. Like there should be a sound for logging in, sound for logging out, notification, and, and so on. Next, there should be native support for Windows EXE files so that you can start any Windows program both from the file manager as well as from the desktop. All right. Then I want to make some sort of, um, you know, social media, but which is exclusive to the people that install Commander so that they can easily talk to their fellow Commanders exchange experience or you know questions and answers and so on and so on uh, of course for those who are not interested who are introverted like me it's completely optional all right then i also want to have a look at um, do a better uninstall feature like for example should be able to right click in the menu here should be simply be able to like right click here and say uninstall why is that not available all right and finally i want to make it so that when you hover over the buttons in the taskbar you see previews what the programs are doing just like windows 7 did and similarly when you click up and tab to switch between the applications it should be done in a really nice and beautiful way like good old windows 7 used to do it all right so in conclusion um i will be working intensely now over the next couple of months to do all this and please consider supporting us we have a patreon account and paypal as well and like share and subscribe if you want would be cool and that's it i'll see you next time